Hello friends, welcome to Java EE JSP and JSTL tutorial. Now in this video we are going to explore the usage of for each tag. So JSTL for each tag we will see how to use it here. So, as already told in the other videos, here we are referring the JSP JSTL code with the prefix C. Then you can see how we are using the for each loop here. Here we are starting the for each loop and here we are ending it. So if you see here, this is the for loop for uh, int index equal to 0, index less than or equal to 10, index equal to index plus 2. That means uh, the index will increment in uh, steps of uh, 2. All right. So the index starts at 0. And if you see how it is uh, mapping here for each, then so here if you see everything is uh, um, tags and attributes right so here the tag is for each and we are prefixing it with the c that means we are stating that the for each tag and its definitions are available here so for each the attribute what we are doing is begin equal to zero let's call this as one then end equal to ten that's the second attribute the third attribute states where status equal to loop we will see that stone then step equal to three we will take this as a third one then variable is index and if you see how it is mapping begin equal to zero and you can see that is mapped here index equal to zero This is mapped here then end equal to 10 so that maps here because that's the condition here we are checking it through the condition but here we are saying it end equal to 10 and if you see here we are giving the values of 0 and 10 then where status we are storing that here in the loop then step equal to 2 this third that is mapped here after that here we are saying that a very equal to index that means here the variable what we are using here is index and we can say that here everything we are tracking it through index that means when i refer index here the index will on each iteration it will get incremented and if you see here the index will increment right from 0 to 4 like this it will go and till 10 it will continue and if you see here begin 0 0 it is beginning and 10 and step 2 incrementing and the content this 0 to 4 will be here uh, in the index so it will be assigned in the index that means here we can uh, access the variable remember we already told that once variable is set we can access it with a curly basis dollar curly basis the variable name so in the previous example we referred to nam1 right so just for remembering purpose uh, i am uh, giving that here so likewise here if you see the variable here we are referring so this variable will hold these loop iteration stuff loop is starting at 0 ending at 10 with a and on each iteration the index will get incremented in terms of 2 then what is this loop is doing here so this will give the status of this for each loop and if you see here we are using loop count loop dot count 
so here loop gives the variable status so there is a object assigned to this loop uh, by the runtime environment and from that object we are making call to the count so this will always tell the loop count so this count is different say for example here 0 2 4 let me write it here 0 2 4 6 8 and 10 so this is coming from the index so that's the variable so this index so this one is special to this for each and this one tell the status of the loop status of the loop means this count will tell at what iteration you are in so first iteration second third four five and six so that's all here and, and you can see here we are accessing the index and here we are accessing the loop and we already know about this c out c out will output the content so c out and value here we are printing the loop status loop dot count here we are printing the uh, the variable status variable status means this is the loop variable all right uh, that's all uh, here this will make you understand how we can use the for each loop now it's a demo time all right we started our while fly so in this java e series we are learning jsp in the previous series we created a web application to learn java servlet java e servlet here we are learning the jsp also at times we will use servlets also all right now we will create the jsp file for this example so i'm choosing new jsp file so the last one is a choose when right now we will name it as 10 So the template is a JSP with the XML markup. First, we will add the tag lib entry to tell that we are going to use the JSTL core. Next, inside the body, we will place our for each just for a testing purpose. So these are all already explained and okay. Now let's uh, start our server. Okay, it says it started. So now the warning won't come. Since we made that a simple change, I'll go for incremental publish. So now we are seeing synchronized. Run as run on server. So if you see loop status is stating one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means here the loop status is telling us so this is the static content and this one is the dynamic content produced by our JSTL tag. So C out value loop count. So loop count tells so first iteration this is the second iteration third iteration so that's what that loop count is telling us so what it tells is uh, 
at what iteration you are in so that's what this account tells okay so here index if you see this is actually this particular index and if you see the index will start from 0 and set to 10 with an increment of 2 and you can see that 0 2 4 6 8 Okay, now we will stop it. Okay, this also stopped. That's all here in this video. Thank you for uh, watching. Bye.